The story of Waseca police officer Eric Manson is inspiring some Minnesota lawmakers to take action. Members of the House and Senate are introducing a bill that would toughen penalties for similar acts of violence against police officers. It was a year ago last week when Officer Manson was shot while chasing a suspect through a Waseca neighborhood. He suffered serious injuries that required multiple surgeries and rehab. Tyler Janowski was the man who shot him. He was sentenced to 35 years in prison. As WCCO's Caroline Cummings explains, sentences for this kind of crime would be stricter under the proposal at the Capitol. Thank you for um, all the support this past year and all the prayers and kind gestures from everybody. It's been amazing, but it's definitely been a whirlwind to recover. As Eric Matson marches forward on the long path to recovery, some Minnesota lawmakers say the penalties for the crime against him are a roadblock to justice. They're introducing a bill in his honor at the state capitol that would level stricter sentences for those convicted of first degree attempted murder of law enforcement. Any attempt on an officer's life must be met with punishment that matches the heinousness. Of the crime. The proposal would effectively double the maximum sentence for first degree attempted murder of a police officer, judge, prosecutor, or correctional officer. Under current law, the maximum sentence is 20 years with release under supervision after two thirds, or for a 20 year sentence, 14 years is served. The proposal would boost the maximum penalty to life in prison and mandates at least 30 years served before being eligible for release. Waseca County Attorney Rachel Cornelius, who prosecuted Matson's case, supports the move, saying there's a glaring gap in state law. We provided for higher penalties for the murder of police officers, but there was no similar increases for the penalties for attempted murder. This legislation fixes that and gives prosecutors in Minnesota, like myself, another tool in our toolbox to pursue violent criminals. Matson welcomes the proposal and says it's an acknowledgement from elected officials that police officers consistently face danger while on the job. I wish I could say this would be the last time we'd have to prosecute this crime, but unfortunately that's probably not going to be the case. The Senate bill is co-sponsored by members of both parties and the newly formed Independent Caucus, and a companion bill in the DFL-controlled House is expected to be introduced by a Republican there, though it's unclear if any Democrats will also so sign on. In a statement, Speaker Melissa Hortman said she looks forward to continued discussions on ways to improve public safety. At the Capitol, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News.